Hey, I am Newton Faulkner and I'm here today with Bianca and we're going to talk um, just about the kind of basics of percussive guitar and yeah, kind of look at look at all aspects of playing the thing. So, all right, what are we going to start off with? Let's, let's look at the basic kind of areas. Mm -hmm. So there's two kick drum sounds, it's kind of one there and one there. One here and one here, like? Yeah, kind of, it's wherever you can actually reach. And then there's two usually quite defined notes you can get out of the body. There's one here. Be there and it's I tend to use literally it's just that bit of my finger. Yeah. So you've got a nice like slap yeah, on really, there, it's, yeah. It's kind of fast and precise. One thing with all of this stuff yep. is it's it's more about technique and less about violence. Because I have been sent pictures oh, okay. of people blaming me for either <laughs> injuries to instruments or themselves. I mean lots lots of people put their wrists straight through. Oh no! Bit, you, don't, you don't have to do it that hard. Please don't do it that hard, <laughs> I beg you. Um, but there's kind of that stuff there. Basically, it's very similar to the way congas are tuned. Mm. Um, I've got a cheeky rough plate. Oh, okay. Um, so do you use like scratching techniques on there? Yeah, or? you can go. Um, someone like Thomas Lee does a huge amount of that. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Uh, but you kind of um, I don't think I don't actually use it that much though. Um, the other thing I do, which is it's really fun, but it does really hurt if you don't have acrylic nails. Um, I've got acrylic nails. Uh, yes, it's weird. Um, some people refer to it as my lady hand, but it does allow me to do a lot of things. So the scratch plate is um, that. I don't think it would be very loud without them. So teardrop. Let's yeah. have a quick look at teardrop. Water is my most faithful mirror. Some stuff did used to be there. Mm -hmm. And if you watch the video, I'm, I'm playing it there. I've actually moved it all kind of down here, so I'm using the, the kind of secondary kick drum. That one is a bit meatier somehow. Like that? Um, usually, I think it's to do with the pickup as opposed to the acoustic. Mm. So that's the like basic. So should we start with that? I've cap it up because I'm down in C and mm -hmm. I use massive strings that you can't even buy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember why. So for, for the bass line of teardrop, yeah. it's there. What was that? Which is the yeah the the two the two two D's yeah two the maths in my head and then the fifth fret of the yeah and still the the D string as well and then open and then back to the beginning so if you do that with the beat obviously you can't you can't do the kick drum on beat one yeah because you're playing that so it's, so you have to kind of move really wow fast. okay. So it's a, yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, right. And then just keep going. Oh, okay, so it alternates between. All right, let's see if I can get that. There's that, and then there's the little counter melody. The counter melody is what messes with the whole thing. All right, so. So it's the way that that mixes with the, with the rest. So I use that as the first chord, so that's the... So it's, Seventh fret for you, yeah. So, it's yes, the way that fits with that is okay. incredibly unpleasant for the human brain. So the first thing is on the snare, so you get do 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 ba, and then so that is at the same time yeah. as the first one of those. All right. So that is do, so that's in a gap. So one two off. Do, do. Oh, yeah, nearly there. Would you say a lot of this stuff on the left hand? Is kind of muscle memory. Oh, completely. For this, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got very into like how how to train my brain to yeah. remember, remember patterns. I found some really weird loopholes. So together. It took me took me a long time. Yeah. Because that was the first thing I'd done like that as well. And then I added, kind of later actually, after I'd finished it, really. Oh, with nice harmonics Yeah, there. well. And then you bring the drums back in as well. 
and then you use a harmonic for all of those and add in the harp. And then back down. So that's like a... But by far the hardest thing to play on the most recent album, which I'll, I'll teach you a bit of now, is to do two things. First thing is take the G string down a semitone. Mm -hmm. Put your finger on the second fret of the A string. Then you've got just an open major. Mm -hmm. I mean, it started out as like a rhythmical yeah. concept, which is this kind of, it's a, it's a West African thing of, of triplets and off beats. So you've got the ding, ding, ding. Now this is, this will hurt just cerebrally. Then it's an offbeat with that, so it's all the ends. So that is really hard, yeah. Horrifically counterintuitive. And then also I added a kick drum in the gap, so. Yeah. There aren't enough parts of my brain to play that <laughs> all at the same time. And then it moves around the And then I kind yeah. of broke it up for the rest of the song, because obviously that's that's a very infectious rhythm. Yeah. But I didn't want to use it for the whole song. I wanted to kind of use it sparingly, so I actually broke it up. And there was another rhythm that goes across that, which is a half time, so it's... So it's kind of, it's more song based, but that bit is, uh, I'm giving up, I'm giving up, oh Lord, I'm giving up, I'm giving up, oh Lord. So it's kind of built into it. Hey, I'm Newton Faulkner and thank you for watching. And yeah, remember the most important thing is don't hit it too hard. It's not about how hard you hit it. I don't want to be blamed for any more damage to any more guitars. <laughs>